So we're going to work on uh, swinging the arms as if we were running without actually moving the legs. This is going to challenge your core quite a lot as well as challenging your cardiorespiratory system. So I'm just gonna show you the big picture first. In the front view, so it's gonna look like this. From side view, it's gonna look like this. Um, common mistake people make is that um, the common mistake people make comes from two different parts. The first one is your shoulder. Um, many people focus more on pushing and then not paying attention to um, the back part here. So I'm going to have you actually focus a little bit more on pulling. Pulling. So as one arm pulls, the other leg just kind of goes up automatically. We're designed to have counterbalance and counter motions. So we'll use that. If you need a little bit more detail, what you want to uh, do is to keep the elbow at 90 degree and then focus more on moving at the shoulder joint rather than your arm like this. Yeah? Okay. And try to keep your shoulders more relaxed. That also helps you to pull a little bit more rather than pushing like this. And then second common mistake comes from the lumbopelvic area here. First one is we lose the stability of the sagittal plane motion. Second one, which is quite related to the first problem, is we're kind of shifting the hips side to side. This is exaggerated motion. As we swing the arms, literally a counter rotation is expected. A little bit of it. But try to keep it more stable so that there's not much, uh, there's not ex no excessive movement. So to do so, many people will require, uh, will be required to do a little bit of a tucking of the hip under to stay tall and get a little bit more intentional tension around your core area. So that when we do this fast, You can see that little bit of counter rotation is happening, but not much uh, visibly large motion, and especially not much frontal plane motion happening. Yeah. Hope this is makes sense. And how we attack the cardiorespiratory system, there are so many different ways of doing it, but um, simply we're gonna start with the interval training. So. When you first start it, you can do this. By the way, you can do this in front of the mirror as well, just so that you can check your body alignment. So first, we're gonna do this at 30% of your maximum speed to check the body alignment, to check the stability. And once you're good with the stability, then bring it up to about 50% of your max. Keep breathing. And then we'll do this about 40 seconds. And then after that, we're gonna increase it up to... ...80% of your max, about 20 seconds. And then go back to 50% of your maximum. About 40 seconds. So something like that, yeah. And you can see that I'm already kind of huff, um, huffing and puffing a little bit, yeah. So it will challenge your cardiovascular system as well. So have fun. <laughs>